Welcome back to Sportsbook Review Videos. We crashed and burned on Thursday. As usual, it seems like this season, but here on Sunday for your NFL prop betting picks in Week 13, I have been cruising on the Lord's Day so far this season, and I think I'm going to continue that here. A couple more prop betting picks. One from Bet Online, one from Bovada Sportsbook. We're 66, 52, and 2. I am trying to make a run here to get us back up towards that 60% mark, and I'm going to start it off with a touchdown prop on Jarvis Landry. The Dolphins are a team that have been people continue to sleep on, even though they've been playing a little bit better lately, and Ryan Tannehill has been a big source of that. But without Devontae Parker this week, you have to think that Jarvis Landry is going to get a few more targets, both in some intermediate rounds and maybe even some red zone touches as well. I, he only has two touchdowns on the year, so obviously I think this is a little bit of a shorter, maybe one unit play. But then if it allows a plus 150 here, I still think you're getting value considering that he is going up against a Ravens team that has allowed the second most passing touchdowns to wide receivers this season at 17. Obviously, touchdowns are just a bit fluky, but I still think Landry has pretty good odds here at plus 150 that we cannot pass up from Bet Online Sportsbook. Take him to score a touchdown here in week number 13. Next up, the Chicago Bears running back Jordan Howard. Not a lot has gone right for the Chicago Bears this season, but if they can look to one bright spot in their year, it is finding Jordan Howard, who has been very, very good so far this season. Now, he gets to play against the league's worst rushing defense with odds of 95 and a half or, uh, rushing yards here. It is over under at Bovada Sportsbook, though. I think it actually could be a very sneaky play to go under here for several reasons. The main one being that the 49ers have not been that bad against running backs over their last three weeks. They allowed only 54 yards to the Cardinals three weeks ago, 61 yards to the Dolphins on the ground last week. Obviously, they've been giving up a ton of yards to the air here, too. So uh, if the Bears can get some sort of any sort of passing attack here, they could opt to do that as well. But I think 95 and a half also a bit too high, just considering that like I said, the Bears don't have anything going for them this season. They know that this is a lost year. They're not trying to run their young running back into the ground in very, very meaningless carries with a chance to get him hurt. I think he stays tempered a little bit at this round. 15 to 17 carries, I think, is the most you're going to get out of Howard. I just don't think that's enough to get him above 95 and a half rushing yards here. So I think unders to play. Minus 105, great NFL odds from Bovada Sportsbook here on this one. Best of luck to you on both of those. Of course, I will be back here for Monday night football. Some more NFL prop betting picks, but until then, for sports book review i'm jordan sharp do your research before you bet check out our ratings guide to see which books have the best ratings and sign up bonuses open up several accounts shop for lines at sbrodds.com always be ahead of the game